We all dream of having money freedom, right? But the truth is, not many of us actually get there. Surprisingly, a whopping 95% of Americans don't hit the jackpot of financial independence by the time they turn 65. Instead, they end up relying on the government, charity, or their families. But guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm Bev, and I'm thrilled that you've clicked on this video to explore today's topic with me. I appreciate having you here. So, let's kick off with the idea of financial freedom. Achieving financial freedom means that the money you receive regularly without actively working, also known as passive income, is more than what you spend each month. Once you hit this point, you're free from the grind of working for a living. Congratulations! You've stepped off the hamster wheel. Now, let's dig into passive income. It's the money that keeps flowing in regularly, needing little to no effort on your part to maintain. There are various sources of passive income, but I firmly believe that investing in commercial real estate offers the best opportunity for building wealth and increasing passive income. On the flip side, there's active income, which comes from providing a service. Your typical job is a prime example of active income. You need to perform a service to earn your paycheck. So, what you do for a living falls into the category of active, not passive income. Enjoying what you're watching? If you are, just hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Your involvement means a lot, and it boosts our little channel, making it more visible. Everything good? Awesome. Let's get going. You can start creating different sources of passive income gradually. Let's take a look at some of these passive income streams. Interest income. You can earn monthly interest from fixed income instruments like fixed deposits and bonds. These instruments offer interest income at various intervals. Monthly, quarterly, half-yearly, yearly, or upon maturity. If you prefer monthly interest, you need to specify this in your fixed deposit application. For bonds, choose those that pay monthly interest. Dividends from equity shares. Many companies announce dividends, but the frequency and amount aren't fixed. Dividends can be paid quarterly, half-yearly, and yearly. Some companies might also declare special dividends occasionally. The dividend amount depends on the company's profit, current cash flows, and cash reserves. Look for companies that increase dividends annually, like American States Water, Dover Corporation, Northwest Natural Holding. Rent from real estate. Investing in residential or commercial property and renting it out can generate passive income. Typically, rent increases over time, but economic downturns may lead to reduced rent. Generating rental income requires a significant investment in real estate, making it a substantial commitment. If buying an entire property is challenging, you can explore fractional real estate, where multiple individuals collectively own a property based on their investment proportion. Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs. Instead of directly owning property, you can buy shares or units of a listed real estate investment trust. Examples include Crown Castle Incorporated, Realty Income Corp, and Equity Residential. REIT shares are affordable and they declare quarterly dividends, known as distribution per unit or DPU, making money every month from different kind of investments. In recent years, lots of new companies have popped up in the world of alternative investments, offering ways for you to earn money without working too hard. Take peer-to-peer -peer or P2P lending, for example. On platforms like these, you can lend money directly to people who need it. Every month, you get back a part of the money you lent, and guess what? It includes some extra for you. That's your profit and a bit of extra cash rolling in. Then there are these cool startups that let you be part of asset leasing. Here's the deal. You and other folks pool your money, and the startup buys things like office furniture or vehicles. They rent these things out to companies who pay back every month. You get a chunk of that payment, and it could even include some of the money you put in. That's like a little bonus. Another option is invoice discounting. It's like this. You and others put your money together and lend it to a company against an invoice they're waiting to get paid. They give you back the money with a little extra on top as a thank you for your help. Now, hold on a sec. 
These ways of making extra cash might sound awesome, but they're not without their risks. High returns mean high risks, so you've got to think about how much risk you're comfortable with before diving in. There are also other chill ways to make money without having to clock in at a 9-to-5 job. Ever thought about starting a blog or becoming an influencer on social media? Platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube can actually pay you for being awesome. Ads, sponsorships, paid promotions, you name it. And you could be making some extra dough from it. If finance is more your thing, you could become an insurance advisor or a mutual fund distributor. Just by recommending financial stuff that people need, you can pocket some extra money without breaking a sweat. And get this, you could rake in cash through royalties from book sales or selling online courses and ebooks. Imagine earning money while you sleep. That's a dream, right? You know what's cool? Creating different ways to earn money without working too hard. At first, these money streams might not be as big as your regular job paycheck. But eventually, with a solid plan and some patience, you can watch them grow over time. Picture this, one day, the money you make without working a 9 to 5 might actually be more than what you get from your job. The secret sauce is to not put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify, as they say. Have a bunch of different ways to make money so that if one of them goes a bit wonky, you've got others to fall back on. And here's where it gets really good. Having money roll in without you having to punch in at an office gives you something priceless. Time. Imagine this. Your passive income is so rock solid that you can kiss that full-time job goodbye. Suddenly, you've got all this time on your hands to do whatever makes you happy. Chilling with family, diving into your hobbies, trotting around the globe, or even getting involved in some community goodness. Going for financial freedom? Passive income investing is the key. Diversify your income, let your money do the work, and break free from the daily grind. Watch out for risks, plan wisely, and keep learning. It's a journey, not a race. I want to emphasize that I'm not a financial advisor. What we're talking about here is purely for entertainment. Take the time to do your research and talk to a professional before making any financial choices. It's crucial to make informed decisions tailored to your situation. Thanks for joining us on this journey to financial freedom through passive income. What steps are you taking to build your passive income? Share in the comments. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world. Until next time.